Good morning and happy Friday, YouTube. It is a pleasure to be bringing you this video another day in my denture life. So this morning I tried a little experiment. I put some adhesive over my denture fit soft reline. And let me tell you, while the denture fit keeps them tight and snug and absolutely wonderful for walking around the world without adhesive in your dentures, sometimes you want that extra secure feel, that extra secure hold. So what I did was I put a little bit of adhesive on both my top plate and my bottom denture. I am feeling secure, locked and loaded, ready to go to bring y'all this video. So, if you are thinking about getting dentures, where do you start? You know, what is step one of this journey? Where is mile marker number one of this road that we are about to take? Number one, go to the dentist. Have an evaluation performed. You need to know the condition of your mouth. How bad is it really? Can you save those teeth or are you a candidate for dentures? Well, that's number one. I know it might be scary, but, but get some courage, go to that dentist, understand that they have seen every condition possible that a mouth can be in. Yours definitely will not be the worst, nor will it be the first jacked up grill that they have ever dealt with. All right, so you've been to the dentist. What's the verdict? Don't be ashamed. Don't lament it. Don't cry. Just take the verdict and do what you need to do. You, whatever that next step is, we need to take it, okay? So, number one, your dentist has told you, after performing the evaluation, that your natural teeth can be saved. Hip, hip, hooray, hallelujah. Um, that is great news. And my advice, do everything you possibly can. Do everything in your power to fix those natural teeth. Because at the end of the day, your dentures will not function as effectively as those natural teeth did. All right, so there's that. What's the second scenario? Well, the second scenario is your teeth can't be saved. Uh, whether periodontal disease has wiped them out, whether or not you have a genetic disposition towards poor uh, teeth and poor oral health, regardless of the reason, you have been told that you need dentures. What is the next step? Whatever you do, do not sign up for the denture package at the dentist where you had your evaluation performed. Now, maybe you will end up signing with that dentist, but a couple things that you need to do before you choose who to give your money to. Research your dentists. Ensure that you have found a dentist that does dentures on a regular basis. Make sure that you find a dentist that has many, many denture patients. Make sure that you find a dentist that has continued his education when it comes to dentures. Look, all of these dentists learn about dentures in the medical school that they go to. Not all of them specialize in dentures, and not all of them uh, continue with their knowledge on dentures. So they get out of school, they learned what they learned, um, they have a rudimentary knowledge of dentures, but they don't have the expertise. So my advice, if you have been told that you need to get dentures, do your due diligence. Make sure that your dentist is um, well-versed in dentures, well educated in dentures and most importantly make sure that you feel comfortable with that dentist make sure that that dentist and that dental
office has spent the time necessary to make you comfortable about this new denture journey you are about to embark upon. All right, so you've finally chosen the dentist that is going to be in charge of your new smile. Congratulations. Uh, so now there's a little bit more work to do. You need to decide what your course of treatment will be. The dentist will most certainly give you options, uh, and these typically are the options given. You can have your extraction performed. There's no getting around the surgery to have the rotten teeth taken out of your mouth, unfortunately. But you will need to decide if you are going to purchase a transitional denture package, meaning that after your extractions are performed, the dentist uh, will already have a, an immediate or transitional set of dentures made to put into your mouth after your teeth have been extracted. This is important because you need to know that you will be leaving that dentist's office on the day of your extractions on your E-day with teeth in your mouth. If you choose this package um, after you have had those transitional dentures for six 9, 12, up to 18 months, they will then take new molds of your mouth, they will do new bite impressions, and they will then fabricate your permanent set of dentures. Now, that isn't as cost effective as purchasing your, your permanent dentures um, at the beginning, meaning... What the dentist will do is they will still have the immediate set of dentures made. You will leave the dentist's office with teeth in your mouth. Um, but those teeth are going to stay the same. What the dentist will end up doing, as opposed to fabricating an entirely new set of dentures for you after your healing uh, has completed, after that 6, 9, 12, or 18 months, they will then perform a hard reline on that immediate denture that they put in your mouth on the day of your extractions, and then that will become your permanent denture. That is the second option that they tend to give you. Then the third, fourth, fifth, and sixth options all have to do with implants. Now, just know, implants are a longer road. Uh, and there are going to be some decisions to make with those. At this point, I don't have implants. I don't have a ton of knowledge regarding implants. So I'm not going to give you all a whole bunch of misinformation regarding them. Just know that when you choose the dentist that is going to be in charge of your new smile, those are the options that you will be presented with. And you'll need to know which option you want to take. All right, guys. Now for the big one. After you have decided that you are going to go down the path of getting dentures, after you have decided who your dentist is going to be, after you've decided what package you are going to purchase, we have to deal with the cost. And let me tell you, these things are not cheap. Your surgery is going to cost anywhere from $3,000 to $7,000, depending upon the surgeon that you choose. Then your denture package on top of that is going to cost you anywhere from $2,500 to $6,000. So we are looking at a total in of anywhere between $5,000 and $10,000. And that's all dependent upon the insurance uh, that you bring with you to the dentist's office. Now, there is a wonderful company out there called Care Credit. Um, they extend credit to people that are having what I find very amusing, this cosmetic surgery done. Because at the end of the day, it's not a cosmetic surgery. It's a surgery um, that's very important for our health, very important for our lifestyle, 
very important for our self-confidence, um, just very, very important um, to our being as a whole. So I don't know why it's still considered cosmetic because I needed to have my teeth removed and I needed to have these dentures to help me lead a somewhat normal existence. So there is the cost factor. Look, Care Credit is a great company. Um, if you cannot qualify on your own, think about having somebody um, be a joint applicant with you. If uh, your credit still isn't good enough to be approved with a joint applicant, go ahead, have somebody co-sign for you. Or if you have a parent, a grandparent, um, a sister, an uncle, a cousin that can help you out, they can take that loan out for you. Um, but at the end of the day, do whatever you can to take care of your um, the problems that you're having in your mouth. Why? Because it's going to um, give you a better quality of life. And at the end of the day, it is going to make you more marketable to an employer. Uh, it's very difficult to get hired with ugly teeth. Uh, you really have to overcompensate with your intelligence and your personality if that is the case. What I can tell you in the brief time that I've had my dentures, I am much more well received by the public um, because people have biases against people with bad teeth. Whether that's right, wrong, good or bad, it's the truth of the matter. So let's take matters into our own hands. Let's figure out how to pay for these things and let's Start down the road to a better dental life. Okay, so you have found a way to pay for your dentures. Uh, so, what's the next step? Well, you need to plan when you're going to have your teeth extracted. Um, the first step um, in the real part of this process is having all of your teeth removed. We call that E-Day or Extraction Day. Uh, so what do you need to do to get prepared for your Extraction Day? Number one, I would suggest that you have taken at least seven days off of work. A lot of dentists out there will tell you, um, yeah, after two or three days, you'll be fine to go back to work. For me, that wasn't the case. It may be for other people, but for me, I took nine days and I needed each and every one of those days. Uh, why? Number one, my denture was too big. Um, during the beginning processes of healing, you will be unable to use adhesive. Uh, my dentist approved me to use adhesive after about five days. Um, the difference was night and day. I could then um, get down to practicing speaking, eating, and keeping these things in my mouth so that I was comfortable when I went back to work. Uh, some other things to consider when you are planning for your extraction day. You will need to have a driver um, to take you to and pick you up from the dentist's office. They will not let you drive out of there on your own, nor should they, because you will have had some sort of anesthesia uh, to make the process painless and acceptable. Uh, a couple other things. Make sure, because I didn't do this, go out buy soft foods. Foods, I would say a good rule of thumb is for the first week, stock up on things that you can chew with only your gums, things that are that soft. Because why you, while you will be practicing with those dentures, with chewing and things of that nature, you will have close to zero bite force and it will be very difficult to down anything that you couldn't have tackled simply with your gums. So stock up on those items. Also, ensure that you have 
your cleaning tablets, ensure that you have a soft toothbrush, ensure that you have a denture cleaning brush, ensure that you have a denture cream uh, for brushing your dentures or Dawn dish soap for, for, um, for disinfecting them and killing the bacteria. Make sure that you have a denture bath for your dentures. Um, ensure that you have Oragel mouthwash because you are going to have lots of mouth sores that first week from this new prosthesis being placed in your mouth. There are many, many emotions, many, many feelings, many, many new things that you... Many, many emotions, many, many new things that you are going to have to deal with that first week. Also, great idea to have your prescription card ready so that after you leave the dentist, you can get in and out of that pharmacy quickly without any hassle because the only thing that you're going to want to do at that point is go home and rest. So there you have it guys. If you are thinking about getting dentures, if that thought has ever crossed your mind, if a dentist has ever told you that you needed them, this is a great place to start. Um, I had my teeth extracted and my transitional dentures placed in my mouth 29 days ago today. So I wanted to make sure that I shared um, the experience with all of y'all out there that are thinking about or already have an e-day scheduled. Guys, thank you again for taking time out of your busy day to watch my video. Remember, and never forget, always be a proud denture wearer. Take care. I'll talk to you soon. So there you are, kind of a starting point if you're thinking about getting dentures. Now, once you've made the decision to get your dentures, once you have scheduled your e-day, start watching some YouTube videos. There are some fantastic resources um, that you can lean into as far as what you can expect uh, during each stage of your denture journey. I uh, put out a video yesterday, it is My Denture Adventure Part 10, and that uh, kind of goes through an overview of what the first 28 days of my denture life have been like. There are also some other fantastic resources on YouTube. You, of course, have your Callan Jacks. You have your Bill Westlands out there. You have Kayla, my reason to smile. You have the girl with the smile. You have Margaret out there. You have um, Gator Johnny out there. Just so many resources. Uh, so find somebody that you enjoy listening to, somebody that kind of... Um, kind of taps into what you're going through uh, because it can be very helpful to know that you have a friend out there that's going through the same thing. All right, guys, I'm getting off my soapbox there.